I've zoomed in properly? I do. Look at that. I can't hear the game, but uh, you guys can. Holy fucking loud. All right. Oh, boy. <sighs> I gotta say, my hair being slightly adjusted definitely makes streaming a lot easier. I don't mind having my hair in my face near as much as I did. Because trust me, beforehand, getting my hair in my face was getting hella annoying. Um, I will say I might change the battle team a little bit, maybe. I'm, I've been thinking about it. I'm not too sure yet. Um, what I'm thinking is probably like Snow, Vanilla, and uh, our girl over here instead of uh, Lightning. But I really like Lightning being in here. So I was also thinking maybe her instead of Snow. But then that also gets rid of our like big DPS guy, you know? So that's a, that's a really hard call. It's a really hard call. Um, and I can't really upgrade anything yet because that'd be a fucking waste. So there's none of that available. <laughs> none of that nonsense is available to me. Um, I don't think I can take on this guy, so we're just gonna fucking say deuces to that motherfucker. And we're gonna go over here and uh, grab this loot. Now, I don't remember which one's better, the one on the left or the one on the right, but I remember, like, I don't think they're you know, like, super, super important items. I think they're, like, kind of important, kind of not. This motherfucker. This absolute piece of shit thinks he's gonna run up to me and attack me? How dare. Oh, boy. Um, let's see here. What are we doing uh, as far as... Okay, cool. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I'll try to check to see what we're doing on the... Uh, are they immune to deep, deep protect? This man just said bazooka. What a fucking move. What a fucking move. I just realized I don't have a lot of very good... What the fuck is my setup right now? Hold up. I'm just starting the stream not thinking about what's going on. I mean, that works, but what the fuck am I looking at right now? So we got Ravager Commander Saboteur, which is fine. Aggression, which is alright. Adversity, Bully, Try Disaster. But what the fuck? Why don't I have any, like, you know... Uh, this going on. <laughs> Here's my only... Oh, you know what? I remember it's because the enemies we were fighting. That's what it was. That's what it was. So if we go to fight a Humbaba, we need to have the other one. Okay, okay. See, that makes a lot more sense now. Especially with the dual Humbabas over there. I'm just not ready for the bullshit. Um, I honestly kind of want to do Fang in here just to make that even better, but... That's also a hard call. God, fighting the Humbabas is honestly the biggest problem for me. You know, uh, I definitely want to get the right, but I feel like the left is the one I want. What am I getting? Particle accelerator. Damn it! I was within range too, and I don't I don't think that's exactly what I wanted. Is this Adamant voice this fucking dumb? It's gonna walk onto the only fucking glass in the area, you absolute idiot. I love spawning right next to fucking Hambabas. Did I have to fight by the way? Oh, it's one. Okay, so you know what? I can deal with that. Yeah, I, I can deal with that. That's fine. That's all right. It's annoying, but not too much more than that. The only problem with fighting these guys that I've genuinely found after kind of like thinking more about it is the gigantic problem of trying to deal with the fact that at the end of the day, like, what am I going to do? Like, there's not, I, like, there's a lot of strategies to fight them, but you really can't stagger them. Their stagger resistance isn't that, like, high, but they reach in their health and get rid of their debuffs so soon on. And it seems like everything for them just works out overall so quickly. Like, it is just some of the biggest bullshit. Like, I feel like what you want to do is stagger them, but no matter what you do, it seems like they stagger so fucking slow. Like, see, like, right here. They're halfway, but they're also going to be, you know, standing up soon. Actually, for whatever reason, this is actually kind of working. Really weirdly. Oh, and here's the problem. And I better not die. 
And see, that's what I was waiting for, was that bullshit. Speaking of bullshit, I like how Lightning just barely has Cura as a fucking option. Like, don't even get me started on how dumb that is. Please make him flinch to death, is all I ask. It's all I require, is simply making the man flinch. Oh, and then there you go. There's the problem. There's the problem, because now, you know, if he were to... He's going to do two Ariogas. Oh, my God. Why? Kill him. Fucking kill him. Please. Hey, Snow, do you want to uh, launch him? Thank you. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, thankfully he's at 99999 damage. And Easy. Lightning does a shitload of magic damage, as I completely forgot. Does she actually? You know, that's one thing I've not been paying attention to, is really how much magic damage everyone's doing. She's actually doing pretty pretty even damage overall. I think, thankfully, I think I have her uh, pretty built for either. I think her Ravager abilities is also really helping her too, allowing her magic to do pretty good damage. The only person that really can't do magic is uh, Snow. Um, and Vanille hilariously has high physical damage, but she doesn't need to do any fucking physical damage, which is the stupid part. Um, and I also love how her fucking abilities, like, don't, don't, just whatever. Let me, let me stutter 40 times before I finally get to what I'm saying. Relentless Assault. I mean, you gotta love the Relentless Assault, after all. I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna do Thunder, because, I mean, Fire may be more effective, but Thunder looks cooler, okay? God. That and Thundog is a thing. How much does that do, actually? 276, 292. Pretty good, not gonna lie. Pretty, pretty useful. Like, grand scheme of things, would recommend. Now, definitely going with uh, Tri Disaster because I think I just thought of a better way to go for this. Now, I could go for Blizzard just to half the damage so I can take as much damage, which is what I might do, just so he takes less damage. But he'll also still get the Stagger Bar. Because I know these two sons of bitches are going to hit him with his weakness. So I'll hit him with what he's not weak to just so he can feed the Stagger Bar. See, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to be over. I'm trying to do too much damage too quickly. I need to stagger him before I do anything. I need to beat the shit off before he stands up. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, called strategy, by the way. Literally not letting him land. Only if Snow could probably get this to work out even better. This is fantastic. You know what? I feel like a badass. Was I just frustrated yesterday? Because that was fucking easy as hell. Literally unfairly easy. Someone, did they get nerfed while I was asleep? <laughs> Someone explain to me, please. Why is this now easy? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why'd they go from the hardest enemy to the easiest enemy? What is happening? Maybe I literally have just leveled up that much. That could be a factor. Like, I mean, leveling up your characters in this game really fucking help. Um, sadly, you can only level up your character so much in Final Fantasy XIII 2 with, like, the, uh, at least the monsters or whatever. Um, the characters, on the other hand, I think you can level them up, like, crazy. Like, it, it Final Fantasy XIII 2 does this weird thing where, like, you upgrade the monsters differently from the people. Which, I guess, in hindsight, makes sense. But, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it makes it to where, like, you can only upgrade the monsters so much. So, if you, like, really want to use this one monster... You can't really upgrade him in the normal way that you would a person. You have to upgrade them like in a completely separate algorithm of possibility. Also, I love all the fucking metal detectors not going off with me carrying a fucking sword. I mean, it's not only just a sword, it's a gun blade. So, it should absolutely be going off. Uh, excuse me, security, you're shit at your job. What are you doing? Yeah, I might do some, uh, thing. But, like I said, I kind of want to keep going forward. I'll switch to the other characters a little bit later on. But for now, we're probably going to rock with what we got. And we're all staggered. Out of my cool. way. 
Um, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. Army of one, something. The big deeps. You know, Snow, you don't have to steal my thunder like that. This man went for Asuna. Literally had one health and four debuffs. And he was like, you know what? I think I might get rid of my debuffs. Like, dude, you're, you're, we're galaxies ahead of you. I've read your mind. What are you doing? What, what are you trying to do right now? Because whatever it is, it's not fucking working. Okay, bazooka guys, for sure. I did not like that they have bazooka as an option. That is something I don't enjoy. Diversity is probably the best option right now. Along with the sniper fucks. Holy bazooka bullshit. Why are you spamming it on us? Can I please get healed before I die? That would be amazing. Cough, cough, I like that moan. Bro, leave it leave it to Linku to come in here and be like, hey, by the way, I'm thirsty as fuck, someone help me. <laughs> and I'm just like, all right. <laughs> all right. Thankfully, now that we only have one bazooka guy, though, this might get actually doable. Because honestly, dealing with two bazooka guys and two archangels, I'm not going to lie, not my favorite pastime. I definitely prefer the singular rocket guy. I mean, I would like it if the Archangels weren't assisting the rocket guy, but that's okay. It's not dual Humbabas like yesterday. That's, or not like yesterday, but the other day. As long as it's not dual Humbabas again, I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be able to handle it. Hey, okay, I haven't turned off in three days because I've been heavily sick. He's like, I've not had the endurance to do so. Man, it's, it's been terrible. Literally, life is pain right now. What do you expect? This man's level of down bad right now is reaching critical levels. Someone help him, please. You know what, we're gonna go full offense. Fuck this Archangel. We're just gonna go purely off of bitch slapping him. Oh, he's dead as soon as uh, Snow attacks him. Or maybe, maybe Lightning steals the kill because she's amazing. Luckily you didn't have COVID. Oh, for sure, my guy, for sure. Um, thank. Thankfully you didn't catch any of that, because that, that stuff's still like a fucking big problem where I live, apparently. It's it's definitely still going around and absolutely everywhere. What the fuck's on my phone? Whatever. Dude, I don't know. I'm, I'm already happy that these fights have went along so much smoother than uh, yesterday's. All I... And your PC doesn't work? Yeah, what, uh, so what's been going on with your PC, man? I remember you telling me you got those new parts in, and you're trying to like hook them up to your PC, and like a few things were like... You said you're having a little bit of issue trying to put it together or something? Like, what, what's, what's been holding you up? Also, uh, Linku, on my, uh, on my Insta, I held a poll. The fucking BIOS update thing. What? This fucking BIOS update thing? I have no idea what you're talking about. But, I will say, it is kind of hilarious to think that I, uh, I, I just put up my, uh, my story on Instagram today my first ever poll i know i only have like 80 followers so the poll isn't really going to be the most big majority thing but that's all right i put a poll up saying like hilda or edelgard and i cannot wait to check my phone later and see if people agree with me or not i want to have my echo chamber damn it Ah, incentive chips. Appreciated. Particle accelerator. Those are good. Hmm. I didn't realize I had 14 of those. That's a lot. That's actually quite a lot. It's the thing that keeps the mother motherboard update. You said what? Um, on my Instagram, I ended up doing a poll thing. Because I, I was always wondering how people basically did polls on Instagram. And uh, I couldn't figure it out. And I finally did, so I put up my first ever poll based off of one of my, uh, while I was, re while I was uh, reviewing one of my streams for Final Fantasy 13, people were talking about Edelgard or Hilda. So, on my Twitch, being reminded of the, qu um, I mean on my Instagram, being reminded of the question after reviewing my uh, YouTube video, I uh, basically was like, well, you know what, what is Twi what is, what does Insta say? What do, the what do my Instagram followers have to put into this? Edelgard? 
or Hilda. I need to know. And um, I've yet to go check the results yet. I'm kind of curious. Hey, I even put my vote in there. Um, some people may say that, hey, that's cheating. You can't put your vote in there. But that I would say, I just, I want to participate, damn it. I want to be part of it. I don't want to feel left out. Um, let's see here. I might do position staff. I kind of want to do either Hope or Fang. I might do Fang. I feel like Fang's uh, debuffs are get like warming up on me. I'm not going to lie. I want to use Fang a little bit more, you know? Scrum Claw. Hellish Talon. I'm sure that's going to at least help. Is it still up? Oh, yeah. It should still be up as far as I understand. Unless uh, stories work differently than I think. I mean, I do believe stories can be up until you take them down or something like that, right? I believe so. Uh, feel free to let me know if it is still up, because I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I love having just 25 hellish talons, by the way. I was about to say, can I get the times three, maybe? Thank you. Particle accelerator in here to carry. Holy shit. Appreciated, appreciated. There we go. And I do not have the item that upgrades it. What the fuck? That's the whole reason I did this was to get it. And here we are not getting it. Kind of. I feel attackinized right now, but that's all right. Uh, let's see here. So I think it's in the mother load is what I'm looking for. But what, what I probably need is a Scarletite, but I do not want to waste 100k on a Scarletite. Because 100k is a fucking 100k, all right? Shit gets expensive. So for now, I'm just going to move on. Is this place really secure? Absolutely not. You voted? Well, who'd you vote, Linku? Um, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to laugh when we, when we voted for the opposite of each other, because I, I feel like that probably is what we did, if I'm being honest. Because I know that uh, hold on. some characters have definitely uh, warmed up to me, for sure. Because I know... Uh, I actually, like I said, I like I like pretty much all the characters in that game. They, they, I have my issues with certain ones, but like overall, I think they're all pretty well written. I can't really genuinely deeply complain about it. You gotta check that for yourself. Cool. Cool. Well, okay, okay. I'll make sure to check later then. I'm excited. Oh, God. What's gonna be outside this doorway? I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready. What is about to happen? Is it gonna be cool? Is it gonna be spoofy? Am I gonna die? So this is the heart of cocoon. Is it though? It's incredible. Check now. Do it now. Okay, hold on. That's where Eden sits, controlling all of the other cocoon Thalsi. It's also where we'll find Orphan, the battery that keeps Eden running. Good to know. So what's the plan? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your usual plan: charge in through the front door. Ha <laughs> My man's coming in for the underdog. I like hey. it. You, I like it. Going? Do it now. I challenge you. What is wrong? <laughs> Fair enough, man. I got to give it to you. You didn't You didn't go with everyone else. You chose your own path. That's fine. I didn't follow anybody either. I started the poll and I was like, obviously uh, Hilda. And, <laughs> and everybody was, and I was like, I can't wait to have everyone disagree with me. And I was amazed to have anybody agree with me. I don't like how this looks. I hope that's our backup. Probably not. Well, if it is, I don't think our backup is happy to see us. <laughs> <laughs> I love being sandwiched between two giant fucking robots. It makes me feel rather safe. It makes me feel extremely safe, actually. Okay, bully. First things first, we're gonna buff up. And whatever he does, as long as it's not cannonball, we should be good. That in this enemy, the great way to like control the way this enemy thinks is to always have a fuck ton of uh, debuffs on him. Because if he always has a fuck ton of debuffs, he's always going to go for getting rid of the debuffs. It's it's a hilarious workaround for him. Because it's, it's just basically the way his AI is programmed. It's basically learning the enemy and knowing how they work. And as you can tell, it is really working right now. New strategy. And with this being low health and now buffed, we can now go in and absolutely own him. But now he's got his debuffs gone. But 
we also have vigilance, so we're literally stabbing a robot and making it flinch because that's how video games work, folks. Get, get, get over it. That's how the game works. Let me just get my five other accounts on this vote. Oh my god. This man's gonna go make some other accounts to win the vote. Jesus Christ. I mean, fair enough. Whatever tactics let you win, right? You gotta win, no matter what. Literally pushing that Edelgard ideology. We have to win, damn it. We have to. Oh, fuck. This is so much more peaceful. Why is this game so much more peaceful right now? I feel like last time I was playing it, I was so stressed the whole time. Like, I felt like I was underperforming constantly. <laughs> I was like an underperforming husband. I was constantly stressed. It was, it was rather sad. You asked for it. You, you did ask for it, you giant robot. How dare you attack me in the middle of the street? You fool! I really do not like how quickly he gets rid of his debuffs. Keep a cool head. Keep a clean head? Well, I mean, I'm trying. Doesn't mean it's working, but I am trying. Oh, boy. And make a new one named Edelgard for the win. <laughs> Just do another poll and make it Edelgard for the win. Well, obviously. Obviously. What else am I going to name it? Um, Snow, are you going to... Thank you. I was like, Snow, hey, buddy, pal, <laughs> besto friendo, please. Assist me, <laughs> if you would be ever so kind. If she could land and peril my life would be absolutely complete, and that is exactly what she did. Army of one, bitch. It's not landing. It is entirely missing. It is fantastic. This is so epic, as I literally hit nothing. I love attacking literally the air. So what have we learned, class? That army of one works when the enemy is on the ground. Not when it's in the air. <laughs> Noted. Bring it, shorty. Dude, Snow, you are not that tall. Bro, bro, these robots are like two stories tall. What do you mean, bring it on, shorty? I don't think you realize who you're talking to. Thanks. They're weak to lightning. Well, good thing I have lightning on my team. I like how a fucking sentient blade has 200,000 health, which is just insane. Which, fair enough, because I do 3,000 off a base attack nowadays, so... I really can't be, uh, too surprised. I love just taking so much damage. Um, hey, Snow, be a pal. Help me. <laughs> be a best friend. Save my life. And I'm a oh, then you'll message me, Edelgard, for the win. Okay, okay. My B. Oh, did we just put... Hold up. Are you telling me... So you're gonna tell me a robot, a giant human piloted robot can't be poisoned, but a sentient fucking blade can be poisoned. Also, I love attacks quickly and relentlessly. That's aggressive. That sounds aggressive and uncalled for, not gonna lie. I might die. Even while playing in diversity, I think the, the enemy might be killing me. Target to target. Target to target as I barely am alive right now. As I just hope that I don't constantly get murdered by the tyrant. Oh, I forget they're not centurions. When they're blue, they're magically a tyrant and we can something else. Honestly, I do gotta love how just literally changing the color changes how the enemy works. Which I mean, fair. Fair enough, that's the only reason I ever need it. Time for another approach. Yeah, please don't board blade. Come on! There we go. Change of plan. Okay. Huh. Nope, nope. Go for the blade. Go for the blade. Go for the blade. <laughs> Kill the blade. Can anybody assist me with killing this blade? That is uh, my main request, and I would hope to see it through before I die this evening. Huh. Oh god, huh. you're not gonna be able to heal the whole team, Vanille. I'm just telling you that right now. Pulse fire is definitely too much for me. Okay, 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 okay. We get it. We get it. We get it. You have. You feel lesser, and it's okay. I understand. I would feel that way too. Standing in this magnificent presence. Okay, sword. So you can chill the fuck out. Thank you. Can a sword flinch? I mean, 
Judging by Age of Slash in Pokemon, I believe so. Thanks. Ruthless. I'm just gonna hope it works. Thankfully, I do believe he is excessively interruptible right now. Wait. Is that the first time I've ever seen them do anything other than Forge Blade at the beginning of the fight? Uh, call me impressed. Because, uh, literally they don't fucking do that. Until they go for Forge Blade like a bitch! No, kill him. Please. Make him flinch. Please. Thank you. Now snow kill him. P literally punch him one time. Or don't. That's yeah. fine, too. Hey, dude, some... Some guy says about me, is it good or bad? Uh, what, what, what do he say about you? I think he's more of an, Luther, the unbroken kind of man. Um, I would assume, I would assume unbroken would be a compliment. I'll be honest. I, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not too good with the fancy uh, lingo, but I, I would genuinely assume that'd be a good thing. I, I would think anyways. <laughs> Other than that, I really wouldn't know what it would be. Because in my in my mind, unbroken would mean something like... Um, in my mind, unbroken would be basically meaning you're uh, unbeaten. Like no one's been able to con uh, conquer you in battle or something like that. That's basically what I'm thinking in my mind right now. Man, I love Thundaga followed by Thundara. It's it's honestly just cheating at this point. This one man, all he wanted to do was participate, and he's already staggered and electrocuted and dead. Just cool. too easy. Bro, Snow's jacket's looking hella crazy. He's just got runes all the way fucking down it. What does it mean? I honestly, if we're going off of the term unbroken, like I said, my only assumption would be uh basically. I need to go with Bully, hold up. New My only assumption would have to be something like uh, undefeated or like rather powerful. That is literally my only assumption. Um, combat clinic before I die. Yeah, I love casting Kira on the wrong fucking person. <laughs> Only if Vanille could heal just slightly faster. I like how Snow's over there saying try this on try it on me and then immediately getting fucking pummeled into the goddamn ground. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the heal as I'm getting literally punched in the spine. This chick literally punched me one time and shattered my entire spinal column. It's rather impressive. Can I not die? That'd be amazing. Thanks. If I don't heal now, there is no recovery. <laughs> I may have a medic on my team, but that does not mean I will recover. It just means I might recover. I'm just gonna hope it just staggers all of them as I spam this. That's just all I'm going for. I do not like how they're all spamming haste. It kind of makes me uh, get scared and want to go in defensive <laughs> position. Oh, and the bitch is stunned. What are you gonna do about it? Punch Snow in the face. That's a <laughs> fair use of your time. <laughs> fair. Makes sense. What about Uthgird? I have no idea what that means. Um, Uthgird is a word I believe I've probably heard twice in my life, and as far as me knowing what it means, I have absolutely no fucking idea. Like, if you want my one entirely honest answer. You know, everyone was talking about why aren't you using, uh, water gun, but I just actually just realized I don't even have it. So, it doesn't matter if I use it or not. Literally does not matter if I use the damn thing, because it's not even available to me. You know, honestly, I kind of want to use Flame Strike, because I never get to see uh, Flame Strike used on uh, Lightning. But, like, to be real with you, I don't really ever use it on Lightning. You know, fuck it. I don't even, I don't even care. I just want to stagger her, because the sooner she's staggered, the sooner she's dead. Because that's literally just going to be her grave. 
Come on. I was gonna say, get him, Vanille. Thank you. Yes. Say it again if you saw my message. Uh, yeah. He's he's more of an Uthgardian, broken kind of man. I assume Uthgard is basically another way of saying unbroken. But uh, I'll I'll be real, man. I have no idea what uh, Uth Uthgard would mean. It, for all I know, it's probably like a really big insult or something. Out of my way. Damn. Huh? What? Were you expecting me to mispronounce it, or like, were you just hoping that I knew a Why random word's you? definition? <laughs> because either way, I mean, fair enough. Out of my way. You asked for it. You gotta win this. Come on, Snow. Just kick her in the dick. That that statement makes sense, I swear. Why the hell did she flap in the air? I mean, whatever. If she wants to fly up in the air, that's fine by me. What the fuck she's into? Um, Spark Strike. Because obviously we're going to have Lightning do the Lightning-based melee attack. Did she just die to a debuff? I don't know what to say. Other than, why not use Army of One? Because I never fucking use this. I mean, a, Army of One is really good with the Axis Blade because it just recharges your fucking thing. Literally, you go from no charge to basically full charge. Oh, dead. Wait, it's just the whole animation has to be finished? It won't cut me off? Come on now. You can't just take the kill from snow like that. You can't just elongate the enemy's health bar to... Ooh, perfume. Thank you. <laughs> 12,000 coins? Appreciated, my guy. Appreciated. That makes me sad. If it was an insult, then it hurt me. I, uh, I don't think... I don't think I don't think it'd be an insult, especially along with unbroken. I I would highly doubt anybody would be hitting you with an insult followed by unbroken. No, that not. that kind of doesn't that makes okay. that's kind of a logical what fallacy to, to me. To? Oh, nice. All of them, just like that. <laughs> a friendly reminder: we're running on borrowed time. <laughs> Friendly reminder, we're actually almost dead. It, <laughs> wild. <laughs> Insane. No cap. Literally crazy. Oh, God. Hilariously, those crystal things drop perfume. Um, don't ask me why. I have no idea. Uh, but what have you, uh, you been up to, Link? Have you been playing any good games? Anything? Uh, oh, Power Glove. I remember that being really good. Yup. Thank you. Boom, there we go. Physical damage increase. Exactly what I was looking for. Ah, save. Thank you. My only problem here is with the uh, shopping. Like, what the fuck do you want me to do, game? Where do you expect me to get money from, my guy? I don't have any fucking money. I'm broke, okay? I'm goddamn broke. Can't you hear me? Didn't you hear my plea? Um, I want to get another another ultra compact reactor. I don't think I'm going to get any Ultima weapons, but I would like to upgrade the weapons that I did upgrade. So far, the main weapons I've upgraded are the four um, Lightning, Snow, Vanilla, and Saz. Those are the main characters I plan on using. I would like to upgrade Hope and Fang, but we probably won't use Hope that much this playthrough just because we already uh, used them a lot last playthrough. Is basically the reasoning I'm going off of. Oh my fucking god, I know what it is. Wait, what is it? I mean, it sounds some. It sounds like something Nordic to me. Because I remember playing a little bit of uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and hearing a lot of fucking words like that. Just like a shit ton of words similar to that. Um, does she get anything? No, she doesn't. All right. Oh, does she get anything for medic? Probably not. Yeah, Stopka. That's a real fucking fancy-ass medic ability, isn't it? Stopka? Yeah. How about 
Stop giving me bullshit, all right? No, thank you. Appreciate it. Deep protect. You shell. Impedu. Poison. Deep protect, uh, Jinx. Come on. What she get? Deshelga? That's all right. Deshelga, not my favorite. I wonder, like, all of her abilities seem pretty good so far. I think she'd be a pretty good Sentinel, elude. All I'd have to do is give her that one ability, which, I mean, honestly, with her counter also doing a lot of damage would also work as well. Because if I do, uh, what I'd like to do is I'd love to do, uh, Saz, Lightning, and Vanilla. That would be pretty badass IMO if I could pull that off. But the only problem is I would have to make Lightning Sentinel extremely good, which is not really easy to do. That's not something that just happens, you know? That's not something that just kind of ran. You don't just wake up in the morning and you're like, hey, by the way, Lightning's best Sentinel. I I unless it does, then I mean, feel free to fucking correct me. 15,000, 30,000, 18,000. Oh my god, 21. 42,000? Bruh. Why? <laughs> can, I, can I please get a uh, reasoning on fucking why, Omi, please? <laughs> Someone explain? Because apparently I'm fucking missing something. Oh, yes, that fucking health increase I was looking for. I need Snow's health to be in the 10,000s, damn it. Otherwise, I feel cheated. <laughs> ah, yes. Increasing that strength. Truly, the level ups that she fucking needed. I mean, the health is good, too. So is the fucking magic, thank you? Okay. Appreciated. Oh, my God, she got a lot of good increase out of that. She, We finally have someone who broke a thousand fucking magic damage, chat. Finally. We've been waiting a while for this one. It's a fucking person from Skyrim. Oh my god. It is. I feel like a fucking idiot now. You're absolutely right. That is entirely a motherfucker from Skyrim. I think yeah, he's half from a uh, physical. Well, less of my magic damage. Good thing I got physical damage, bitch. Now the only downside. So there's the speaking of a new enemy. These ones are called sacrifice, which is how fitting. First off. Secondly, um, it, these enemies are really interesting because they actually can insta kill you at any point in time, and they also debuff you all to hell and back. Because I don't know if you just saw that, but he almost casted death. And hilariously, them casting death is fucking annoying as as piss. Because these sons of bitches could literally start the fight by casting death and killing you. You know how Vanille's ultimate ability, death? Yeah, they can do that shit too. That's not just a Vanille thing. They're they're also obligated to spam death on you. But they, they kill Vanille. Well, shit. That's fine. <laughs> Deep time? I'm sure we're okay. We honestly didn't need a healer that time. We just need them to be debuffed. These enemies aren't really that strong. They're uh, they're dangerous, but they're not that strong. It's not like they're dangerous in a different sense than like the Humbabas or the Behemoth Kings. They're more of like a gigantic. They gave me a Scarletide, I believe. Is that what I needed? I think that might be something I literally needed. Um, ah, uh, huh, BRB? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Possibly? She's the one who says, I could beat you down in a fist fight when you meet her for the first time. Oh, that person. Once again, I don't think that's too much of an insult. I think, I think that's fine. Uh, upgrade. What are we looking at? We are looking at the Pandoran Spear and a Scarletite. Literally what we needed. Holy shit. Thank you. Amazing. Definitely appreciated. Um, well, hell, that was, uh, unexpected, to say the least. Hopefully they can drop more shit like Scarletite. I mean, damn. What a fucking drop. I forgot. So, yeah, these are definitely enemies that you can kill and get some good loot from. Now, trust me when I say I don't believe Scarletite is an average drop. I believe it is a drop, but not a common one. Let me, let me look in here. Uh, enemies, enemies, enemies. See. The Undying. Oh, that fucker. Okay, those things. You. 
Ew. <laughs> literally, literally disembodied arm. All right. Wing seed. No. Shambling seed. Sacrifice. Scarlet Titan Perfume. Literally, these ones are fantastic because if you can kill them efficiently, they either drop something worth a lot of money or, guess what? Something worth a lot of money. <laughs> Granted, though, they're not really that fun to fight. They're, uh, they're kind of annoying. Even though they look really cool. Like, am I really that kind of guy? <laughs> He's like, am I really that much of a badass? You're going down. Okay, looks like we're doing a uh, flame strike. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm also slowed. Gotta love that. Okay, now we're gonna full try disaster mode just to go in and beat the shit out of them. Okay, ruthless. Just get the debuffs on the other one and to keep beating the fuck out of this one. God, yeah, the one problem that really does happen with these enemies, though, is fighting them while being debuffed. Because there's not very many enemies in this game where you have to fight them while being debuffed. Usually, you would just fight their death, by the way. Very unsettling sound, might I add. The sound when they cast death is extremely unsettling. Follow my lead. God, it also does a lot of damage. It makes you, it makes you grit your teeth a little bit. Kind of spoopy. Kind of extremely spoopy. Oh, all right. All right. Just beat me to the punch, snow. Got him. I can imagine saying I can jerk off faster than you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I feel like you need to be in here, Linku. I think I need you. I think I need you to be in the party while Dylan and Devon are here. I feel like you'd all three have a fucking absolute comedic just throwdown, absolute bullshit nonsense. Take this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I love attacking the enemy with uh, the thing he's literally absorbing. Amazing. I mean, since he's literally going to make it to where he's easier to kill, then I'm going to go kill him. Bruh, and Anthema really be coming in clutch right now. Ah, yes, just shoot fire from above. I'm sure that'll work. Oh, welcome in, awesome bro. How you doing? Nah, he's always mean to me. Devin? Oh, dude, Devin should not... No, no, no. You Don't worry too much about what Devin says, Linku. Devin is always an asshole. That's that's literally just his personality quirk. He can't help it. He was, bo he was born to be the biggest dick in the world, while also having the smallest dick in the world. It's quite... It's uh, quite the interesting uh, dichotomy. Hello, my guy. Glad you didn't see the old chat. <laughs> Work was fun. You already know the story because I told you. Yeah, bro. I don't know. You in here causing some fucking crazy shit at work is what it sounds like. Oh, God. Am I about to fight this motherfucker? All right. All right. Um, if I get a really annoying boss fight again, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just deal with it, I guess. Oh, dude. He's a it's actually perfect that he's doing that on snow. Because the main people we need to be attacking fast are me and uh, Vanille. I mean, when it comes to DPS, we need him attacking. But for the stagger bar, we actually need us. Because this is actually perfect. Because I actually have an item on Snow that makes his debuffs go away faster. Which, honestly, I love. And besides, the enemy is dead as soon as Snow punches him. Yep. <laughs> like I said, literally, he just has to get to the attack. Regardless of how long it takes. When he gets there, they will die. And that Scarletite coming in, giving me loot. Thank you. This is a very productive episode right now. And a preemptive strike? Oh, you're fucking with me, dude. You're mad. Absolute mad, lad.
and then all the status debuffs too. Literally cheating. Someone come in here and nerf me again. Who, who, who buffed me while I was sleeping? Like I said, I should not be doing this well. I should be doing like I do in Fire Emblem. Dying to absolutely fucking everything. Uh, oh, I want a bigger dick than Dylan. Oh, di fair, fair enough. I don't blame you. I do too. I, I feel mad jelly. <laughs> I get... I get Andrew mad every day. Oh, yay, you're in the same place. Picks up the nerf hammer, then smacks the hell out of Edgy. Hey, you, you better, dude. I'm coming in here fucking hard and fast. Literally ready to take on the entire world right now. Literally, basically call it cheating. With how over-fucking-powered I am right now. Um, I will say, like I said, once we get to the part where it lets you go back to Pulse, I will be going back to Pulse, just in case anyone is curious about what I'll be doing in a bit. But that is what I will be doing. Looks like no one was spared. My man. He really wants us dead. Man, he really doesn't fucking like us. It's kind of crazy. Okay, first things first is I'm gonna go into bully. Now. So I can get the buffs on my team. Because I do remember him being immune to debuffs. And so we're gonna go ahead and start with this. Hit that Libra up. Okay, what are we immune to? All the de all the debuffs in the game. Fair enough. That's all I needed. We have to. We're gonna have to go for buff in the team first. Okay, it's just gonna have to be part of the game. He is just an asshole. He is just the biggest asshole. Do you have to be doing this right now? Are you really casting vigilance and bravery on Vanille? Are you fucking mad? <laughs> Are you a dense motherfucker? Can you stop? There we go. Okay, diversity. Uh, what's he weak to? Literally nothing. <laughs> well, so far, I will say the uh, battle seems pretty tame. I'm kind of waiting for him to do something really crazy. Uh, defensive mode. Oh, that's fine. Aerial defensive mode? I could totally live with that. Um, I have no idea what it does, but all right. Delivers devastating physical attacks can alter own form. That's fine. Honestly, I feel like this isn't going to be near as annoying as the first battle, because I feel like I was a lot more underprepared when I got to the first battle. Charging. Oh, fuck. We're charging? Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. I know what that means. You're not charging shit. You're charging a fucking Kamehameha in the background, and I don't appreciate that. You're not doing that. Okay? Absolutely not. No slave. I'm no one's slave. Jumps in the air, literally defies gravity, and beats the shot of him. Can we, uh, does anybody want to question how Lightning's doing this right now? Because I don't. I think it looks too badass to question. I'm gonna, it's so badass, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna <laughs> immune to debuffs? Yeah, he is, he is immune to debuffs, and that's one of my least favorite things about him. I'm no one's slave. Yeah, you know what? I will absolutely spam this because as soon as snow gets up here, it's just gonna be too good. And flame strike. Sadly, we're not gonna be doing too much damage with all this going on. Because honestly, we need some snow to hurry up and not. Uh, okay, hold up. Combat clinic before he. Yeah, before he really just goes ham. Retaliatory strike? Yeah, I don't appreciate that. Holy fuck. Well, good thing I'm on the defensive right now. Otherwise, <laughs> this could be a problem. Let me try to catch up with chat while this is going on. Um, good luck on Proud Clad, Proud Clad 2. My dude, I'll finally get the uh, door handle and hinge to your car. Immune to debuffs. Well, look who's famous. Not you. Ha. Hi, Senpai. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like I've told you guys before, if I was famous, that would probably be very problematic. Let's be real. Oh, no, 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 Oh, wait. Never mind. Oh, no, okay, this is his annihilation mode? That's fine. Uh, this is not a problem. We will absolutely destroy him. I am not even partially concerned 
with his little annihilation mode bullshit. He can go right ahead and do whatever bullshit he wants. It, it's not going to matter to me. In fact, I'm so confident about it, I'm going to let um, him buff my whole team right now. And I'm going to launch him up in the air and totally ruin his day. Um, Snow, do you want to participate by uh, buffing the team, maybe? I'm, uh, I'm going to go with maybe. It seems like he's not really too concerned about it. But Vanille, can you chill with the noises for three fucking seconds, okay? I'm trying to focus. Now or never. Now or never. I'd appreciate it if you did your executing attack right when he's about to stagger. He missed. He fucking missed. Where did he land it? I don't know. It's always hard to tell. It's like all the attacks are just barely out of range because he doesn't use the weapon. Okay, well, while this is building back up and we're just doing this. Um, good roast. I'll maybe load it for the future. <laughs> Link who approves privacy. <laughs> Piracy. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Okay, bully. There we go. Not really the preferred one, but definitely an option. Um, Mayo, that made my day after being sick as fuck. <laughs> no problem. Get better soon. Yeah, man, I hate being sick. I honestly do hope you feel, start feeling a little bit better. Because being sick is probably one of my least favorite things to ever have happen because honestly I have like a really shitty immune system So when something happens, I basically fall apart and feel like I'm dying Okay, let me see here uh, my dude I had nosebleed 14 times in two days And you're finally getting better after the headache and losing a 10 pounds of blood 10 pounds of <laughs> what? Excuse me Yeah, let's just go full heal mode. Okay, full attack mode. Thanks. Since he wanted to nerf his own defense, we'll kick his ass. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. He just makes himself easier to kill. That's okay. The only problem is whatever I do, if he goes into full attack mode, I better be fucking prepared. Especially for when he goes in the other mode. Now it's going to be a gigantic problem. Palatory Strike, yeah, I better go ahead and get defensive mode. Okay, I gotta say, so far, already a lot better than the other one. I think just already knowing that he can't be uh, debuffed honestly makes my entire game plan a lot more sound. Because my only issue was me trying to figure out how to get around his debuffs. But now that I know how that works, it's perfectly fine. And he is going the distance. Can you chill out for three fucking seconds? I get it. You're retaliating. Chill. You know, I'm going to try to go on the offensive. <laughs> Wish me luck. God, it's so weird to have a boss that changes mode like this. Just to have a lot of fucking down. Oh my god. Um, please buff me, team. Team, team, give me uh, protection. <laughs> Snow, for the love of God, stand in front of me. He is shooting literal death beams, and I would appreciate it, Snow, if you could stop that. Um, yeah, let me um, not die real quick, if that's fine with, with the team. <laughs> if that's fine with chat, I'm going to try to beat this on my first try. If I can. Holy laser fest. What the fuck? I did not ask for the light show. <laughs> we get a dinner and a show. How nice. It's only fucking 6 o'clock. For most people, dinner time. For me, breakfast time. Because what is a sleep schedule? Let's be real. Oh my god, just go diversity, dude. I don't care anymore. There's no... There's nothing I can do that's going to make this even slightly more reasonable. Uh... Thunder spam. Ah, thanks for interrupting me, dick wad. God. You know what? I almost prefer his offensive mode, if I'm being honest with myself. I actually prefer him deleting me. Because even then, I at least then I know what to expect. This is just fucking annoying. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we can absolutely interrupt him. 
Okay. Um. Oh, ten liters was just the feeling. Oh, good. You actually had me kind of scared. I also read ten liters is ten pounds earlier. I feel like an idiot. But no, uh, ten liters of blood. That's a fuckload of blood. I would really hope that you wouldn't lose that much. Snow, could you participate a little bit more? Oh god. Okay, yeah, this is definitely one of those fights where it's taking up all my brain. The ability just to figure out what's going on. To not die. Because holy shit. I don't think I can explain how many fucking noises are being shoved in both my fucking ears right now. To where literally by the time that I try to have a thought that isn't like trying to solve an issue on my screen, something else is fucking exploding. Like uh, my health bars that are constantly going from half dead to barely alive. Which are those the same thing? I don't really know. They might be. <laughs> I d um, fun fact, did you know 9% of the watermelon is water? So stop wasting money on watermelon and then just drink water. Yeah, bro, my man's out here calling out watermelon. Absolute fact. My fucking watermelon isn't even that good. If you want watermelon, just go have watermelon, watermelon flavored stuff. There's no reason to get watermelon. Let's wrap this up like that's gonna actually happen. That sounded really weird in my left ear, but all right. I just realized I do not have a buff. I might die. Okay, bully, because if I don't get this uh, buff on for defense, I might be dead. Oh, aerial defensive mode. You know, hilariously, I don't prefer this mode. Oh my god, his buffs are st still there. Okay, never mind. I know how to read, it's okay. I looked at my buffs and thought they were his buffs. I was like, did they really get rid of what he's weak to? Because now I'm mad. <laughs> First I was annoyed, but now I'm pissed. If, I must die, thanks. So if, if he must die, so be it. Good. God damn it, Snow. Buff the fucking team. Uh, that's a very good tip. Money saving tactics with Fronesquez. Anyway, I'll go to sleep, then smack on some car engines when I wake up. And you give this man from Nesgez some VIP stuff. This guy is chill. No, for sure. Uh, my boy Frones is always in here being absolutely chill. I always go if we have mad respect for so many people in my chat, I gotta, I gotta say, I am very happy that so many people are as amazing as they are on my chat. I was uh, all very worried for a while that I would only have toxic pieces of shit in chat, like myself. But no, thankfully, I have a lot of really awesome people in my chat. I am very happy about it. God damn. Okay, attack mode, attack mode! Just cast match, I don't fucking care. Literally, whatever it is, just stagger him. Are you fucking kidding me? Can we just launch this son of a bitch before he kills me? Thank you. <laughs> He's gonna hit the ground and Snow's gonna immediately launch him back up. This is perfect. This is the DPS we wanted. Okay. An army of one, just to get some extra DPS in there. Ooh! Do you see that damage snow just pulled off my guy? Fuck yes. Don't die! Don't you dare kill me! No, 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 no! Renew! Renew! For the love of God! Oh god. He's so low. He has literally 27,000 health. Three hits from Snow will kill this man. Turn the tide. We're going for it. First fucking try. Three stars. I don't give a shit. I beat his ass, okay?
I beat his ass. Holy fuck. I remember when I watched all your Skyward Sword streams. Dude, in my Skyward Sword streams, I had a really fun time playing Skyward Sword. Um, and I and I really enjoyed having you hang out with me that whole time on Skyward Sword as well. Mm, weird. Why do only people in MMOs call me toxic, but every, anywhere else I'm awesome? Frones, literally everybody in an MMO is toxic. As soon as you make a character and log in, you're toxic. There is there there's there is no like diversity there. Everybody's toxic during an MMO. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Money saving tactics, my dude. That makes sense. How the fuck did you do that? I'm a gamer god, dude. <coughs> Sup, Reigns? That's not Reigns. Rush. Rush? It's over, bro. One of my soldiers. Oh, fuck. They have them bleeding and shit. I see. This is so shitty. Why are you doing this, Rush? I mean, haven't you done enough? Enough. Under foul sea orders. I've orchestrated mass murder, all to answer the fears of a panicked populace. For a people utterly dependent on the foul sea, it was the only solution I could offer, even if that solution was a farce. Then, you knew the foul sea were using us? I believe their rule was best for Cocoon's present and future prosperity. But it seems I misjudged their benevolence. If this is my punishment, I accept it. This is so, so fucked. You're just gonna let everything go to hell, is that it? Absolutely! <laughs> Including myself! Right. One thing remains. He's so edgy that, it, that he killed it. Absolutely, dude. <laughs> this is... This is SICOM Director Rosh. Attention all SICOM and Guardian Corps units. Suspend the sea operations. I repeat. Get wrecked, Rosh. <laughs> I mean, I don't really see anybody as toxic in those. Then again, I did sometimes get to the point. Population. I do not issue this order as an absolute. You are free to make the choice. We just beat the shit out of this dude, and he's just, and now we're friends. Cocoon, aren't you? Or was that a farce as well? No, we weren't lying. You just really had to stand in front of us the whole time. You fucking jackass. Stay alive. We'll see you when it's over. No one's gonna try to heal him? Not even a little bit? I mean, I get it. We fought him twice, and he's a little bit of a bitch. But, like, come on. Even our healer's concerned. Vanille's like, can I heal him? Can I moan three times and revive him? Like, what the fuck? May I please? Obviously, we're on the same team. We're just doing it differently. Oh, 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 oh my God, that is two behemoth kings. I'll trust in your humanity. Let's see. The fate of Cocoon is in your hands. You son of a bitch. This badass motherfucker is about to stand this with two behemoth end. kings. The end which I have chosen. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so fucked up. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> no, there's no healing that. All right. I mean, I got I got to give him badass points. This dude died 1v1ing two behemoth kings. That doesn't normally happen. Nor does it usually go well. I just got this I just got to the stage where you have to save Vanille and Saz. I've been pronouncing Psycom wrong all this time. How, how, wait, how the hell were you pronouncing Psycom? Wait, Frones. Oh, welcome in, Marius. I didn't even see you there. Watching, uh, I, now that I, you have the, you have like damn near the same color for the name. 
piss calm. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, I think I got an item. What what else did I get? I think I got a royal armlet, which is really, really good as well. For anybody that doesn't know much about royal armlets, they are fantastic. Um, I would say arguably a lot better than diamond bangles by a large amount. Um, okay, so. Oh, I have? I have shop. So I got, yeah, Eden Pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals. Oh, that's how you buy the Septisol and all that. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, now what I need to do is I need to shop. I need to sell, I think. And I need to sell some of this shit. I need to sell, like... The Scarletite would be useful, so I'll leave that in here. But I would like to sell one of these. Thank you. Okay. And R&D Depot. Ultra Compact Reactor. Thank you. Ah, fuck. Upgrade. I don't think I'm going to upgrade anything quite yet, once again, because I just don't think there's really th anything that I could do that would help out. We're just going to go ahead and equip the Royal Armlet instead of the Diamond Bangle. The Diamond Bangle is good, but I want the Royal Armlet, damn it. <laughs> I want to be able to survive. Platinum Bangle. Fuck the Platinum Bangle, dude. Diamond Bangle. Like a real badass. Our healer has no defense, but so much HP. <laughs> it's insane. Edgy Gamer, why are you upgrading Lightning Sentinel class? Why are you so dumb, Edgy Gamer? Come on now. And then all I have to reply with is, uh, my bad. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed like a cool idea at the time. What's her saboteur abilities I get? Wait, that's saboteur, my bad. What are her synergist abilities? I've always wondered. I actually really do like that part where you go out and, uh, what is it? Um, when you're going out to save, uh, Vanille and Saz, I think that's one of the funner parts of the game. It's actually, that's actually one of the part, uh, best parts of the game, in my opinion. I think, I love the music, the soundtrack, the enemies, and everything during that part. I will say it is extremely thick with enemies, though. It is, like, the amount of enemies in that part of the game is excessive at best. <laughs> there is just an absolute shitload of them. And they just, they don't ever end either. Like, they just, they're always there. It's actually kind of fucking wild. Okay, faith is actually what I'm going for. Appreciated. Like I said, I'm just kind of uh, exploring around, trying to get all these uh, abilities to be used. But I will definitely go back to Commando because HP, thank you. And more strength. Bro, only if every character could get an HP increase of 230. Like, what the fuck? Piss calm. Too bad for Rosh, that gren uh, Grenades only do 300 damage or so. <laughs> Man, this he thought he went out with a bang and only did 300 damage. What a loser. Kind of ironic since my last name literally has a silent P in it. I really love the forest place with them, too. The music there is so nice. Oh, Marius, you were absolutely right. The uh, A lot of the music when you play as Vanilla and Saz is some of the best. I'd say um, that the split-up section during uh, the beginning of the game when it's Saz and Vanilla and then Lightning and Hope are some of the best parts of the game because they provide you with some of the best team setup and uh, music as well. Because I think March of the Dreadnoughts is fantastic. And so is the music during the forest area and some of the places after that. And of course, that is to not shit on any of other parts of the game. The rest of the game also has fantastic music, of course. But I'm just saying that those parts are extremely memorable. Extremely memorable. Saboteur. I don't think she gets any new abilities from her saboteur. She gets death, but that's not particularly useful. Oh boy. Um, let's see here. We'll do that. Cool. Well, there we go. We'll probably switch up our uh, classes and everything more as we go on. But for now, like I said, until we get back to Pulse, we're probably going to stick on this team. Because I would continue going straight on till the end, especially since we just hit the 40 hour mark. And I could totally make this the final stream. But. <laughs> gigantic butt! I don't feel comfortable fighting the final boss yet. Because last time I played this game and I went straight for the final boss, I got my absolute ass handed to me. 
and it that is a fucking understatement. I got I like literally every enemy on the way to the final boss kicked my ass, and then the final boss also kicked my ass. So I'd like to um <laughs> literally planetary sized ass. I gotta hold up. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's follow the save we just did with another save, by the way. Um, I always loved Sarah's theme. Sarah's theme is very pretty. I think this game does a really good job with the very, uh, soft-toned music. I just, I don't know. I think it always just, it really matches the tone extremely well. Also, you guys want to see a badass transition of scenery? Check this shit out. If I remember it correctly, it gets pretty fucking wild. Where's the cavalry? <laughs> if they made it this far, we'll see them soon enough. Whoa. These are they cop? Are they being revived from the dead? Excuse me. That's not fair. I didn't ask for that. This is not the video game I was promised. Not them too. They're all seeth. Yeah, this is super <laughs> shitty. And remember asking about the cavalry? This isn't the cavalry, but it's close enough. Can you go back to Pulse whenever after this stage of the story? Uh, Marius? Yes. Like, yes and no. For the most part, whenever you want. You have to get to a very specific spot. And it'll let you transition back and forth. There's a lot of cool cutscenes and interesting parts of uh, Pulse that I'd love to go back and look at. Etro is rebelling. Etro is losing her shit and absolutely just flipping out. So who likes to change the scenery? We are now in, uh, fucking cyberspace. Amazing. <laughs> I remember walking into this room. Never. Well, how did we get here? Where'd the elevator go? Orphan's Cradle? More <laughs> like... I feel like a fan fiction is being written right now, and I'm just playing it. This I don't know it. what's happening. A lot of dreams died to get us here, and we can't let it be for nothing. Absolutely. You said it. It's not just our So what's one more anymore. life? Points over, shoots open the face. It's alright. We'll do it for everyone. Fauci rule ends here. This Dyson, reminds me of the final place of World of Final Fantasy, kinda. I've actually never played, uh, there's a lot of Final Fantasy games I've never played. I've, uh, I've not played too many. Like I said, I've, oh, in an uh, update for Final Fantasy 3 that I've been playing. I've been really enjoying Final Fantasy 3. Final <sighs> Fantasy 3 has been an absolute fucking blast, by the way. Genuinely amazing. Also, this fight is bullshit. I hate fighting a bunch of these. But anyways, yeah, I honestly uh, love fi uh, playing Final Fantasy 3 right now. I feel like Final Fantasy 3 is a really good Final Fantasy. At least from what I've played of it so far. Like, anything I've done on it is just amazing. I will eventually, did they already kill Snow? Did they land death on Snow? Because that would be annoying. You know what, fuck you, I'm gonna summon. Odin. Uh, Odin, please save me. We might as well at least do one summon because this is just so gorgeous. The rose petal badassery followed by, so Odin isn't very badass, but everything revolving around Odin is badass. Clear the field. There we go. You want to watch the Jeff Scott beater fill up? Boy, I hope you, I, I don't think you're ready. I don't think anybody's ready. Oh fuck, I forgot. I forgot this is not a normal lightning team. I kind of want to go into just assault mode, just so I can use it to get uh, get out of this bullshit. Oh, he's got some death on me. Fuck no. Fuck no. We're not. No death spam, okay? I fucking hate the proud clad. I haven't played one of the really old ones. The old one, I, the oldest one you've played is seven. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, three is really good so far. I've not played too terribly much, but the uh, couple of hours that I've played has been pretty good. I will say you definitely have to search around for stuff a little bit more than you would the uh, Final Fantasy 13 though. Everything's not hand fed <laughs> quite as much.
Damn it, they're not staggered. So why are you guys all assholes? Okay, well, I don't think this really killed any of them, and I also don't think this really helps my time either. But to say that I tried would be just how I feel. I'm gonna literally finish this cutscene, get down, not kill any of them, and then um, one of them's gonna cast death and kill my whole team. Holy shit. Let's go. This battle is out. Just hell like that. yeah. Fuck me, dude. Why? Why is this in the game? You piece of shit. Not only did I use a summon, but I still fucking died. Odin is just an ordinary mythological horse enemy. I, I don't get what's so special about him. It's because he's a... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I will say my my uh, my favorite summons are by far uh, Saz, Snow, Fangs would be cool, but doesn't seem very effective. And I think Vanilles is good, but she herself trying to survive while he fights is not very good. So the best way to fight these guys is literally to, just to get a fucking sneak attack because they're fucking jerks. Nope, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Absolutely not, I refuse. Oh, fuck you too, you're all turning around when I get close, it's, it's literally cheating. Cause see, that one's looking over here so I can't run up and sneak attack. Now all those are facing this way. They're gonna turn around so I can't attack them still. I'm still gonna be in the viewpoint of one of them. This is, it's so geared against me right now. What, what is, what does <laughs> Square Enix expect me to do about this bullshit? To actually fight them properly? Fuck no. Nope. 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 <laughs> Absolutely not. There we go. I like that they don't use the same ones like most other games do. Dude, you're absolutely right about that as well. I swear, every Final Fantasy has Ifrit, and every Final Fantasy has Bahamut. I mean, Bahamut is here, that is true, but it's not exactly the same as all the others, you know? It's only some of them are the same. Uh, yeah, because I know uh, every time, like, Final Fantasy 15 is actually really weird. They don't use very many in Final Fantasy 15. I think they only have, like, one. I mean, well, actually, now that I think about it, they do have quite a few. Man, it's been so long since I played Final Fantasy 15. That's what I need to, need to do. I need, At some point, I need to go back and play some fi stream some Final Fantasy 15. Now that I think I finally have the hardware to actually fucking stream it. Because hilariously, the only reason I'd ever stream Final Fantasy 15 is any time that I tried, my stream would absolutely fail and off itself. And it was absolutely disappointing. I was always so excited to play to stream Final Fantasy 15, but the universe literally wouldn't let it happen. And they fucking landed death. Why do they get to land death constantly, but I can't? It's not fair. <laughs> it's so not fair. Turn the tide. Uh, all right. Uh, order, uh, like they just throw he hecatons here instead. <laughs> right. It's pretty random. One of my favorites is Anima Form X. I like that first boss in Anima in this. Yeah, I know they have. Um, oh. I killed three and didn't get any spoils. I'm kind of triggered, not gonna lie. Call me triggered, because that's how I feel. I would appreciate it if I could get at least one perfume. Is that a, is that a fucking sneak attack? Holy shit! Bruh, I landed it! I got it! Come on. Come on. You're going 
going to Arioga? Wait, why the fuck are these ones casting Arioga? Are these some like beefier sacrifices? What's going on? I actually am very confused right now. <laughs> Confusion is exactly how I feel. There's still four of them. And they're here casting death, and I'm sure it's gonna land at some point. I'm gonna be very upset. Game over. Hey, Snow, do you wanna uh, possibly use Smite? You something? He won't use Smite, damn it. That's all I need him to use. And Vanille won't fucking debuff them, so it's making it even more difficult. I mean, yeah, they can't attack, but it's not like I can do any fucking damage. I just get to stand here hoping I do damage. You know, I think these are probably the enemies that you want to use debuffs on overall. I feel like if I use, uh, uh, what is it? If I use Fang on these enemies, it'd probably go a lot better. I'm probably using a very unoptimal strat. That is one thing, using different characters in this game will really change how well you do versus certain enemies. Because, like, right now, I could really use uh, being able to cast slow and shit. Being able to cast fog and pain from two separate characters right now would be amazing. Because they, you don't even have death yet. Yeah, I literally can't even cast death, yet they're over here killing me with it. It's, it is by far leaps and bounds full of bullshit. I, and uh, the thing open. is, even if I did have the ability to cast death, it's not like it'd be effective, because I'm playing as vanilla as a You're medic. So it literally... Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I'll go ahead and keep... Now, what's really going to scare me is when they cast death on me and it works. No holding back. Oh, are you finally going to cast D-Protect? Yeah. Thank you. Took you long enough. Yeah, by the way, you can boost it, but still. Yeah, you can boost it by doing stagger and a couple other things, but, like, death never lands, like, ever. I think death is basically by far the hardest thing in the game to land. You don't just kind of, you don't really walk up and land a death. It, it, that doesn't really happen. This fucker's not even staggered yet. Watch him cast death one time on me, and then it absolutely loses the bot battle. That would be the best outcome, really. If we could just have them all walk up, absolutely fucking destroy me. There we go. Jeez. How was that five stars? You know what? The fact that they gave me perfume made that bullshittery all right. But no, um, what I would like to do is I would love to try out a slightly different team. I might do this team right here. I think this would be interesting. So, what I would like to do, Saboteur Commando Ravenger, all right. Check it, Medic, perfect. Synergist medic, because she's a good enough of a medic, it's alright. Um, saboteur. Synergist. Saboteur, which is amazing, believe it or not. Um, Sentinel, Commando Ravenger. And then probably. Commando, Commando Ravenger, Commando Ravenger. Ravager. That's probably the best one I'll have at the moment in time. Yeah, this team won't really stagger the enemy very much, but will the debuffs happen? You fucking bet they will. So yeah, I know we keep switching our team around, but like I said, I'm keeping it interesting, okay? Um, you, I would absolutely love it if you could get a royal armlet. Probably Royal Arm at level 1, because uh, she only has one fucking slot. <laughs> so, it's uh, amazing. Um, probably the Power Glove, in all honesty. She doesn't really have any magic damage. Like, it's dumb. Um, wait, hold up.
Isn't death a low chance? Oh, dude, death is like a super low chance, and you guys just watch the enemy land death on me like five times in one battle. That's why I'm mad about it. Um, stagger Belladonna staff and other debuffs I think works too. Yes, ex uh, that's basically what you want to do is you want to stagger them and have a fully upgraded Belladonna staff. Um, D shell also makes it work better. I think that may or may not work. Yeah, I think the more debuffs they have, the easier death is to land. She's got low HP. Uh, who's got low HP? Oh, but, oh, her? It's actually because I have 718,000 HP. That's why it's such low HP. Um, so let me go ahead and put this in here. I want to make him basically the uh, mid guy. So I'm going to give him the royal armlet. Then I'm going to give him the warrior's wristband and the... I think his weapon upgrades magic more than it does uh, melee. But I'd love it if we could get the whistle wind scarf in here. That's just so good. the the uh, the scarfs the uh, scarfs that make you attack faster are just so good. Our speed stash, kill ATB card, improve potions, whistle wind scarf. Thank you. Okay. Um. Yeah. Cause I does his doesn't his weapon increase magic or magic more? Let me let me go in here just to make sure. It does a little bit, but it does. So yeah, um, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I will be right back, chat, I promise. Bear with me, I gotta pee. Miku poster stream pog. You know what? That's what I'll do next time. Next time I leave, I'll literally just take my camera and just fucking, you know, zoom in and then just have that just vibing there. Like, that's just that's just what I'll have to do next time. That'd be fucking fantastic. You know, I actually listened to a little bit of uh, Miku music today. Like, I, I swear to God, guys, it's not just a meme. Uh, I do genuinely like listening to Miku. It's, um... Uh, God, my veins look so much better nowadays. You guys have no idea. I look so much better from the side and from the front. My my bangs, I just got my hair cut the other day. You guys may disagree with me entirely, but I just I feel so much better about my hair entirely. Yes, do that next time. Okay, next time I go to pee, I'll make sure to I'll make sure to do that. Um, but also let me see here. Where is my soda? There we go. So actually I don't normally drink too much soda outside of like when I go out to eat, but since I actually got so much done today. I am not only going to have a frappe, but I'm also going to have a soda because I fucking earned it, dude. I I actually got to relax a little bit today. I did my workouts. I did my basically everything I needed to do. 
I mean, I'm once again, I, I, I caught up on my YouTube to get all my videos up to where it actually, you know, is caught up. Ooh, saboteur, I forgot. She's our main saboteur, so we need to get this. Imperil. If I can give our girl Imperil, that would be absolutely fantastic. And you're about to see all of her stats boost up to gigantic amounts. I don't think she has any other ability other than Stopka in here. So it's... That's alright. Um, I think I'll probably go with Commando. I don't really need her Sentinel to be all that good. I might upgrade it a little bit though since her Sentinel is so low level that it's insane. Like, her Sentinel is literally only costing 775 fucking 8 points, which is kind of wild. <laughs> I kind of forgot that I even had anybody that took that little. That's why that's why she doesn't have her uh, that's why she doesn't have any HP or any accessories because she's literally not even been used in the slightest. She's been entirely upgraded in Saboteur and I kid you not nothing else. Vendetta, that's all right. Vendetta's okay. I I, I personally wouldn't use Vendetta. I'm mostly upgrading her Sentinel just for the uh, fat to get the uh, accessory. Um. Fuck this internet connection. You saved up some serious CP for her. Vanilla's basically almost max CP. F uh, Fang. I forgot Fang existed there for a sec and confused her for Vanilla somehow. Bruh, how'd you, how, how the fuck? <laughs> you know, the hilarious part is this is the one that moans all the time, but she probably has the most sexual stare out of all of them. That's, that's the interesting part. I normally don't use Fang. I don't normally use Fang either, but uh, like I said, like this time around on the stream, I'm trying to be a little more diverse with how I'm playing the game. Um, I mean, of course, I could always go with the dream team of, you know, Vanille, Snow, and Lightning, which fucking works like a charm. But I don't know. Uh, I, I just, I'm just basically trying out different weapons and different strategies overall. Because um, last time I last time I played this game, I literally didn't use Fang at all. This time, I'm not only using Fang, but I'm also having her be a uh, be a really really good saboteur which is fantastic a uh, reprieve is actually really good um i actually i might get that but oh an atv gauge i forget she doesn't even have all of her atv gauge either but yeah this chick was fucking up there in atv level for sure hope only gg easy bruh no <laughs> absolutely not Hope will absolutely... If you could do a Hope only run, you would die every time. There'd be no way for you to win. It would just be death 100% of the time. High wind. And see, that's the thing. I've never done high wind before. I don't even know how that works. Literally don't know how it works. I assume it works similar to, uh, you know, Snow's ability. But maybe you know what? Maybe let's get it. Let's get that ability. Or, sorry. Let's get it. Uh, <laughs> damn, she's actually got a lot of health now. Like, overall. 5,100. It's quite a bit. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. I might try to get Reprieve for her as well. And maybe Medic. I really don't know. The thing is, is for her to not have Ravager as a, as a possibility is super strange to me. Now, it is fantastic because she can have the... Uh... I just thought of a different paradigm. Hold up. Boom. Perfect. I think. No. No. What if I... So she doesn't have Ravager, right? So she'll have Saboteur. Boom! Literally genius. So we'll actually start out as that. That would be perfect, actually. That would be perfect, dude. Hell yes. Okay. Anyways, big brain time is over. Back to stat. <laughs> Back to increasing stats. <laughs> um. But no, uh, definitely. I think I think hope is very useful, especially with the uh, thing that I got him. Why are all these magic things here for her? Like, I'm going to use all that. No, we'll just go back to Commando then, so I don't have to use all that stupid magic bullshit. But I really don't even know what I'd want to upgrade for her. I think I could probably do Synergist for her as well. Because now that I actually look down at her Synergist abilities, um, I've never actually looked in depth at her Synergist abilities, but she actually has one of the uh, abilities that I didn't know you could get in this game. Because if you go up here, if you see this, we have Veil, which is already a, already a rare um, Synergist ability. Not very many characters have that. You keep going up. She doesn't get Brave, but she gets 
Brevera, which is fantastic. So, like, right when you stagger the enemy, um, you can have the enemy, the teammates, doing extra stacking, but then have her do this. So the next thing I probably do for her, now that I've upgraded everything else, is I'll probably stop upgrading this, because she can do that, and then Faithra as well. So she can do Faithra for them and Bravera for her. Which honestly sounds like it could be a really good idea. Like, genuinely. Um, I would like to upgrade Saz's medic as well. Because if I remember correctly, he had a decent medic. Yeah, he got Cure and Asuna, which is not really the best. Because honestly, upgrading anybody for medic is kind of toxic because not... not You're, you're either a good uh, medic in this game or you're not really a good medic at all. Like, it's that's just kind of how it is. And it's sadly, <laughs> sadly that's how it is, but that is mostly how it is. Holy shit. Oh, the magic increase. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Give me all these buffs, please and thank you. Everyone in chat, are you sure you're not ready to fight the final boss, Edgy Gamer? You're over here maxing out their Crystariums. Like, why are you so worried? Bro, I just want to get into the boss room and delete the boss, all right? Chill. God. <laughs> what if I just want to get in the boss room and not even stagger him before I kill him? I just want to literally insta-kill him. Immediately. I want to make it so one-sided and unfair that it's actually a comedy show. It's, it's just going to be one giant comedy skit. Okay, so now we can finish putting on our equipment, though. Royal Armlet, Power Glove, and Tight Ring, Goddess Favor. Probably right for recovery. We'll have her basically with what uh, Snow had on. Actually... Yeah, there's. I don't really see her needing any of that. She doesn't do any ma- actually, what the fuck? Does she do more damage than snow? Holy hell! How? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. I'm not gonna question it. I'm, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna even try to mathematically explain how Fang does more damage than snow when she has not even a physical-based weapon. The game just decided to say, hey, edgy gamer, <laughs> fuck you. And I'm like, alright. <laughs> I just want to see long guys die. Oh, long guiz? Yes. I just rage, qu rage quitted on the proud cloud. I'm fucking done. I don't blame you. Sometimes the quit button for uh, some of the boss fights is what you need. The people who've died deserve that much. Uh, but yeah. Uh, if I if I can kill a long guiz, my man, I would love to. I think that'd be pretty badass if I can pull it off. But we are about to go back to Pulse. Hype in chat for Pulse. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Snow doesn't even use a weapon. Give him a Buster Sword or something. Dude, imagine how overpowered Snow would be if he used a blade. Bro, he doesn't even need a blade. Give the man a fucking mace. Since he already blunts the enemy to death, just give him a big fucking mace. So when he runs up, he can put all that massive gains into just pure slamming damage. Pulse! Pulse, checking. <laughs> Nope, we don't have any. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just fucking did, but it's alright. Oh. Fuck. That, that looks like a gate to Grand Pulse. Fuck is Texas. Last me. gift from Bartandalus. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, like I said, straight to pulse. We're not we're not doing this nonsense. Pulse, <laughs> pulse. <laughs> After you beat the game, he uh, he forgets his and fist bumps hope uh, and goes flying. Oh Now's my god! Chance. So guys, which way are we going? Sass is like, are we running away? Snow's like, bro, we ain't running away. But which way are we going? Pulse, 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 pulse. Get me out of this cybernetic hellhole, please. I don't want to be here. <laughs> oh my god. I would, but I'm, I'm definitely going to have to get Bravera next, because that sounds badass. That honestly sounds pretty dope. Why are we playing March of the Dreadnoughts, by the way? What the fuck? <laughs> Who asked for March of the Dreadnoughts? I mean, I'm not complaining, but I'm confused. Are you planning on doing all missions? Um, I don't, I don't, 
plan on doing all the missions, but if you guys want to see me do all the missions, I'd be totally down because I've actually never 100% of this game in my life. If you guys ever do want to see me complete all the, all the missions, though, feel free to let me know because I would be perfectly fine with that. Um, because like I said, it's, it's just literally something I've absolutely never done. Um, I've never even had an Ultima weapon. I've never ha I've never had enough money to buy a trapezohedron. Um, so I, I think it'd be pretty badass. Also, let's see here. Did I, did I get the ultimate score on this one or no? I did. I got the maxed out rating, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, what I think I'll do is I'll probably go out here to just base Grand Pulse and probably check out some of the uh, ones out here. I want to see you do all missions. Hey! If that's what you guys want to see, I'd be totally fine with it. Um, it'll probably slow down the uh, games that I push through, but I'd be totally fine with it. Fuck the proud clad. <laughs> I fucking hate him. I don't blame you, man. That that fight was pretty clutch for the fact that I even beat him. I know some of the last missions got some seriously strong monsters. Yeah, and I've never even seen them, man. I've seen a lot of stuff in this game, but I've never seen like the full full game at all. Um, I know. So basically, just to give you a description. I have play I have beaten basically all of those and I have went, you know, that one part of the map that hangs off over here on the right and done like the Colosseum fights. Um, where you're fighting like the really, really, really powerful enemies. But I've never done all of those or anything. I think I think it'd be pretty cool to do. That I mean it really wouldn't take that much time and I don't think I'd do any like excessive grinding on stream. Um, unless you guys want to see excessive grinding. I don't think anybody would want to, but... People like to watch weird shit, so, you know, whatever. Did I get perfect score on this one? I did. I'm just looking around at these ones I've already beaten and seeing if I've gotten per per perfect score. I mean, I'll plan on getting perfect score on all of them, but, I mean, since I'm here... You know what? Let's fight a Behemoth King. I've not fought one in a while. Let's fight one. Fuck it. Maybe this will go better. Does slow work on him? Let's see here. What is... Slow does not work. But... Oh, and pain and fog doesn't work either. Oh, that's a bitch, isn't it? Change of plans. Uh, I don't know what I want. Why are we attacking the Behemoth King? Why is this happening? What is what is going on? Why am I already playing terrible? We just got to pull, damn it. Uh, probably one of those attacks what we'll do. So Blitz. Oh my god! I was just launched to the stratosphere. I got to see Pluto. Probably protection just so I don't fucking die. Smart bomb, there we go. Just gonna do auto hinder because I just plan on landing all of them. Don't get predictable. Yeah, please don't get predictable. Yo, okay. Auto hinder. Literally land anything. You have the buffed up version. Come on now, I believe in you. You could land at least one of these. Thundaga. Fucking fantastic. That's exactly what I was looking for. As I, I ran through the Behemoth King and I was like, I wonder what it would be like if he casted Thundaga on my fucking face. Oh, great. Out of all the things I landed, the shell. Fantastic. Change of plans. <laughs> Change of plans. Hopefully this will work. Um, ruin. Absorb. You absorb. You absorb lightning damage, you fucker. You know, he really doesn't give off any lightning vibes. I mean, he does lightning damage, but he doesn't really give off any, like, lightning vibes as far as, like, you know, as an enemy. He doesn't seem like an, a lightning elemental at all. Fuck you. <laughs> I will land deep protect, bitch. Did I just make him flinch with D-Protect? Hold up. I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> uh, I know some of the last... Long Goo Massacre. 
Behemoth King so strong. Yoshi saying sheesh is amazing. Don't get predictable. Meanwhile, Snow hit them and hit them again. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You know, I'm kind of curious. What does High Wind do? What the fuck? Okay, so it's like Snow's ability then. I got you now. It drains all the, uh, it drains percentage. That makes sense, that makes sense. You're just getting interrupted. <laughs> this is just literally uncalled for. No, you're not allowed to use Sunder here, all right? This is my house. I you use Sunder when I let you use Sunder, okay? You, you go tell your wife's boyfriend that you're not allowed. You're not <laughs> Oh my god. Um, it's like Snow- It's like Snow's, but a worse name. Bro, I love Snow- The Snow's, uh, ability names. Like, fucking- Army of One is pretty badass sounding. But I will definitely say the, uh- Well, let's go down there. Let's go to that one. I believe that one's, like, a really hard one. But I li I love the, uh, name Sovereign Fist. It just- it, it just- It perfectly encompasses how Snow fights enemies. Except this time, it, it's like One Punch Man. It's a punch, but better. It's 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 literally perfect. It, it's it's all I could really ask for. Yeah, well, I'm not fighting another Behemoth King. Uh, I've, I've had my fill. I think I could probably take on a Baby Longwee though. Especially since we've already taken on Baby Longwees, might as well fight one. Also, another enemy to fight is Baby Longwees because they do have um, what is it? They have. Gold dust. They drop gold dust, and gold dust does sell for quite a lot, just like perfume. Eight. Damn, I'm already landing all of these. Change of plan. There we go. We're just gonna go into this. We get that buff going. And I'll just, I'll probably just spam challenge just so I can, uh, Here we go. literally keep his stagger bar up. Because if we can just keep his stagger bar up, that'll make my life better. God, I love taking so much damage. Boom. You know, Steel Guard is probably the best guard. Like, I do like that it gives you options for the guards, but I will say, it just seems like such a waste to have, uh... Oh, hold up, and... Rolling Assault. Going in, bitch! You're dead, asshole! How's it feel to know your grave? Oh, yeah. You know what's really bad is we're literally beating up children right now. We're literally going up to random creatures in the wild and beating up children. It's a little fucked up, but that that's fine. I mean, I'm not really worried about if Saz and Vanille die because I do believe it's going to die to me alone. Yep, so. Damn. Um, not a... Getting tired. I'm getting tired, so I might fall asleep in case I disappear. Not a fan of Hope's final moves name, but it looks cool. It does look really badass. You are definitely right. Speaking of gold dust, holy shit. Um, I'm gonna go go see you later. No problem, awesome bro. I appreciate you coming by, my man. I'm probably gonna play this for uh, uh quite a bit, but then uh later I'll probably get off, eat dinner, and get back on and probably stream Fire Emblem t until my bud Dylan gets online. When he gets online, we'll probably move over to Dark Souls for a bit. Where the hell am I going? That way. I got turned around so hard. I fought one enemy and immediately lost track of where the fuck I was even going. But no, I am very happy with the loot I've gotten so far. Lily fighting one enemy and getting gold dust? That shit doesn't normally happen. Like, at all. <laughs> that doesn't- you don't just kinda- you don't just kinda wake up and get that to happen. No, 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 no. On contraire. That's quite the opposite. Oh boy. Also, for this fight, I think I'm gonna stop by another area as well. Will be cool if you could rage your bike, car, or horse. Oh, ride your bike or car or horse move faster, but that's wishful thinking. 
No, for sure. And speaking of like uh, cool uh, game design ideas, um, have has anybody in chat played Final Fantasy 15 by chance? Because um, I know we're playing Final Fantasy 13 right now, so I assume some of you guys probably like some more Final Fantasy games as well. You have. So, do you find it so? Gladiolus being really into uh, adventuring makes a lot of sense, right? And Prompto being into photography makes a lot of sense. He's really big about friendships, so of course he's going to want to cherish those memories. Um, Ignis being really into cooking. He's a big caretaker, so it makes sense. Now, here's my problem. Why the fuck is uh, Noctis really into... Uh... Yeah, why is Noctis really into... Fishing. I never understood that. Done. Thanks for coming. That poor one that's already staggered literally died before he had a chance. God, he is a really slow attacker. This man's running up and booty bumping me and expecting to do a lot of damage. But no, I think it's super started. weird that Noctis's like special thing that he likes to do is fishing. So I personally was th uh, talking with my bud Devin, who really likes Final Fantasy, uh, especially 15. That how great of an idea would it be? Instead of making magic like a really random thing, why don't they make magic specific, like the magic spells, specifically a Noctis thing, have them work a little bit differently, and have that be his hobby. Like, it's his hobby to perfect his magic. Because I, I, I don't know. I feel like it would make a lot of sense. Even if they didn't particularly change how magic worked in the game, I feel like they could implement the magic into being what he prefers to, prefers to do and then just have the fishing as a minigame thing. That would make more sense to me anyways. I don't know why, but they had to give him something. Noctis into warping. He is definitely into warping. That man warp spams like a fucking mad lad. But no, I, I genuinely think that if they did the uh, magic, that would have been a fantastic idea. If they if they just had Noct be really into the ma magic casting, that and the, and the uh, Final Fantasy 15 team doesn't really have a magic caster. I mean, you can have any of them cast magic, and magic in Final Fantasy XV isn't exactly the same as it is in uh, other games. I'm just saying, it would work really, really well, in my opinion, like, overall. <clears throat> for, uh, for the team's sake. More like crafting. Yeah, exactly. He could be really into crafting, because, I mean, crafting can be a hobby. People craft all the time. I just, I feel like it would make a lot of sense. Getting better at his uh, magic casting. Follow my lead. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Just to keep us all up. Then we're all gonna run in for the full offensive. Okay, and shell. And hold up. We need to we need to stay in this because I know for a fact they're gonna do that. There we go. And smart bomb, there we go. Protect in peril, deprotect e shell, in peril. Honestly, for my character oh they can be affected by slow? Oh fuck yeah, dude. Definitely land slow then. Uh, slow. Yeah, definitely slow. Where is it at? We need a slow in here. We need to slow this bitch down. All right. Makes my life easier. Andy's dazed. Andy's cursed. This bitch is dead. <laughs> there is no recovery from this right now. Oh, bye-bye, motherfucker. Done. Look at all those nines of damage. Just watch my entire screen cover with nines as I absolutely outplay this guy and get more gold dust, dude. Yes. 
why am I so good at the game? My luck is just insane. And I got a gold nugget, which is in, is a lot more money than gold dust, by the way. Um, it's more like crafting. Huff, it's late for me. Gonna get ready for bed. See you around. Good luck and have fun. See you next time. No problem, Marius. I appreciate you stopping by. I'll probably be on pulse for a little bit, and then I'll probably, uh, do that thing where I get off and eat and then hop on, uh, Fire, uh, fire Emblem, because I've not done Fire Emblem in a while, man. You're nothing! <laughs> I love watching them just get interrupted. Like, to where it's just unfair. Now they're all staggered, and they're all up in the air, and they all can't attack. They're dead. This is actually a fantastic team. Fang, Vanille, and Sass. I kind of curious how well Hope, Snow, and Lightning would do then if this team's working so well. The other side of the branch, I wonder how well they would do. Kip Fang, that was a really slow version. I mean, yeah, if we did Relentless Assault, it probably would have worked better, but that's all right. That's all right. I went in there I went in there with a game plan and saw it through, so here we are. But no, I appreciate it, Marius. You have a wonderful evening. Make sure to get some rest in. Because I know that my time on the eastern coast of America is probably a lot different than the time for where you guys are at. <laughs> at least a little bit different. Okay, snow. <laughs> Definitely slow is the first thing I want to learn. Eat this. Yeah, please land slow. Thank God. Protection. There we go. And he's already being boosted up. Okay. Honestly, we just need to get uh, haste in there. Then we can easily take him out. Well, haste and protection. I feel like protection would also help. Keep it together. Because honestly, these enemies are powerful and all, but... I don't really see them giving us too much issue. Peril, D shell, D protect, and peril. Protection, just to get a fucking saboteur on the field, or I mean a sentinel, sentinel on the field, to make sure I don't fucking die. Would be fantastic. There we go, and now you're dead. Oh, and now the debuff's landed, and now you're dead. Now you're dead in literally seconds. Done. Aw, oh, you fucker. How are you alive? That's fine. One more hit will kill him. Damn, steal my kill, Vanille. Just literally camp me out and wait for me as soon as I think I'm gonna win. Just take the kill. Literally just be the biggest bitch. How could you? How could you steal my kill? Steal my glory! You fiend! You monster! How'd you hurt my feelings like that? How could you? How could you do such a damn thing? Okay. Yep, there's that's what I was looking for is the save thing and possibly going around to the other side rather than just going straight over to him. So uh definitely shop. Now if I can, I would love to get a trapezohedron. That would be amazing. I don't think I'm going to get one. Last well, I'm gonna save up for. I'd love to get one of those, even though actually, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not Lord's Raj. RND Depot. Yeah, I'm not even halfway to one, and I just got two gigantic buffs, so. <sighs> I'd have to. I literally would have to go out and grind like a fucking insane person to even get a Trapezohedron. And even then, the real question would be who would I put it on? I think the fan favorite is either Snow or Vanille, so I'd probably end up putting, end up putting the weapon on one of those two overall. But uh, I, the real, which the real question would just be which one? That'd be just the big question, really, is which one? Oh boy, what time is it? 1:59. Yeah, I might actually end the stream soon because now that I see that I've actually hit my two-hour mark. And usually, once I hit two hours, is when I stop having as much to say. 
So I might hop, hop on to, uh... Hey, you know what? Let's, uh, let's like, I'll actually go back and... Sit. I might go kill the uh, objective for this guy, make that the final thing, and then move on. Go eat, and then call it good for the, uh, stream, you know? Challenge, thank you, piss him off. And now he's fucked. Not Delta Pack Smart Bomb. God, I love attacking him while having no health. Just to show him how much I don't fucking care. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Gone! That's game. Fuck yeah, dude. The grind is real. I'm out here really playing the game now. Fuck, dude. Why am I so good? <laughs> I feel like such a chab when I pull off easy quick kills on such big enemies like that, man. Not Pulse of Town, but uh, Feral Creatures. And we are looking not Sahagans. Uh, or Toises. There we go. Adam and Child. Adam and Chalid. There we go. Gold Dust and Scarletite. The real question, though, is I think Gold Dust is actually better, which is the fantastic part. I don't think Scarletite is even really worth buying overall. I think you definitely just want to uh, get the other one. So, yeah, we want to trump down. I... Accident. <laughs> definitely, definitely accident, but all right. Okay, slow. Okay, and... Okay, or curse, my bad. I don't know if Curse is going to land. I'm just going to hope it lands. Okay, stop. Don't stagger him. Whatever you do, don't stagger him. Does that interrupt his attack? I don't think so. <laughs> I wish it did, but sadly, no. Only only if we were living in the, per in the perfect future where you could just interrupt the adamantulid stomp. Marvel. There we go. All in, team. Let's go. Imperil, D shell, D protect, Imperil. Oh, you're fucked now. You're fucked, homie. You're gone, bitch. Was well, assault. Now it's game. It literally, they literally, they can't even do anything about it. I'm literally killing helpless enemies who can't fight back. I'm the real monster here. I am the evil creature on pulse, hunting for sport at this point. <laughs> literally. Oh my god. Those are some pretty cool guns, I'm not gonna lie. Scarletite. That's fine. That's better than nothing. I would've, I would've preferred the gold dust, but that is definitely better than the nothing that I was probably gonna get. Um, the enemy is actually right outside of the... At not Adamantula, but the Adamantois. So, I mean, I'll take it. Also, what the fuck is with the chains on their legs? Were they, like, tamed at some point? How the fuck were they tamed? Is my only question. Also, by the way, don't let these guys attack you. Because if you do, you're going to be in a fight you don't want to be in. Woo! No! Oh, God. Hi, how are you? <clears throat> Fuck you. No. <laughs> not today. Not today. Maybe later. Not right now. <laughs> Please. Absolutely not. Yeah, this is the side you do not want to be in. I would... Don't make me walk all the way around to the other side, you asshole. No, you fucker! You absolute piece of shit! Why are you running up behind me? Don't want to lose, do you? <laughs> Quit wasting my time.
Absolutely not. I believe in my juking capabilities. I, I've juked this before. What I need to do is I need to run around. Boom. Juked. Juked. Okay. Juked! Got him. That's that's how that was the game plan. Yes. Honestly, literally that's all I needed. <laughs> that's honestly all I needed. That's all I needed to be happy was to to outmaneuver those fucking small bits of enemies. Also, are you gonna attack me, dude? Please, thank you. Also, I don't think there's any way to sneak up on these things. I think you just kind of hap happen upon them. Holy fuck. Yeah, protection time. We're not we're not playing this game. We are definitely playing this game. Alright. Alright. You little fucker. So I guess I cannot beat this guy yet. Damn. Not only did he slow me down, but he stopped me too. Shit. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, dude. Hey, you can't be serious, dude. Like, what the fuck? Are you, are you, are you telling me that I physically can't even attempt to fight this son of a bitch? Is he that high level? Did I read something wrong? I could have sworn he was gonna be within fighting level. I thought he was B rank, not quadruple S rank. Like, damn. All right. You say so. Oh boy. Okay. So, what we want to do is we want to get this. How, what are we looking? Is that A rank? No, nope, we don't want A rank. No, 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 no. We do not want an A rank. That is the last thing we want. We want literally anything but an A rank. What are we looking at? E rank. Humbaba. Fuck, I hate the Humbaba. That's all right. We can make our way to fight one. Honestly, I feel like this team would probably kill a Humbaba better than the other team. Because this team actually can uh, buff buff themselves with more than the other team could. It's like, it's like I told you guys. Basically, since my team can cast in fire, I feel like it would work a lot better. That, and by that time, I'll probably have the ability to use uh, Bravera as well. Um, that has me going to the robot area, which is fine. We'll probably head on over to the robot area, and we will stop on the way to the robot area, and then call it good. That'll probably be a nice little ending to the stream, because honestly, with how... Fucking uh, insulting that last fight was. <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep going. <clears throat> Jeez. I just, I genuinely expected it to go better. I'm not going to lie. I, I actually thought I was going to uh, get the dub, but little did I know I was wrong all along. Warning, they're attacking. No, no shit. Um, can you give him pain? You can. Panga, please land! For the love of my health bar, please land. And son of a bitch, you're fucked! Honestly, sometimes it's better just to go with the auto debuff, because that's just better overall. Fog, pain, curse, daze, fog, just literally all the above. Literally anything you can land. And you're, homie, you're gone. You're debuffed, you're dead. I might actually get less than five stars. I did not realize how easy that enemy was going to be. Nope, I still got five stars. Good. I need, to get, I need to get a lot of those things and stuff so I can keep uh, upgrading myself. Because if I don't, then how the fuck do you expect me to upgrade anything? Also, I would do the, I would do es um, espionage for this, but I think the better thing is Rulin's Assault. I think it's best just to go in and fight them. Yeah, like overall, this is just the game plan. You're absolutely nothing. Get out of here. Are they weak to D shell? They absolutely are. But I think they're dying so quickly to this that I don't really am. I'm not gonna worry about it. Don't 
unpredictable. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. D shell in peril. D shell in peril. No, it's just D shell. I need imperil, damn it. Say goodbye. Oh, you're you're definitely dead then. And you're gone. You're actually just gone. You're literally gone. You're deleted. 14,000 fire damage. Then Fire Aga just looking. Actually, that was not Fire Aga. That was just Fire Aga. Fire Aga would have been a massive fucking explosion, I'm sure. Okay. So what I need is to find my way through this giant mass of fog that I will hopefully eventually navigate through. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Possibly. Maybe. Hopefully. What other words and synonyms and antonyms will Eddie Gamer finally find out? Figure out as he continues to explore the English language that he swears that he knows but doesn't apps doesn't know at all. What a surprise. A streamer said something and he lied? How could he? <laughs> Honestly, I feel that. I genuinely kind of feel that. You know, I'm not gonna lie, using Fang is actually pretty dope right now. Uh, she just seems overall pretty fucking effective. I... Riddle... Call me shocked. Uh, she's she's pretty good. Now, her uh, special ability is not will never be as good as Snow's. Snow's is way cooler, but pretty cool. Pretty cool. I gotta give her style points, because she does do it with a really cool looking staff weapon. Even if I do prefer the gigantic punch of death. Because who does not prefer the gigantic punch of death? The gigantic punch of death is how everything should be. Truly. Um... <laughs> Yeah, definitely the protect and peril in the shell is probably what I'm gonna go for. I do not like you're switching so much. I wish you could just pick one and go with it. And peril. You know, we actually do not take much damage from a Behemoth King, now that I think about it. Like, they overall really do not damage us. And the only reason I'm doing this one, if anyone's curious, is actually because I'm going for the, uh... I'm actually entirely going for the just getting him staggered. I mean, I am debuffing him, but I'm mostly just going to get him staggered. <laughs> get cock blocked by Saz! I got real quiet because I didn't think it was going to happen. It was kind of like this tense moment of just... Is it is it gonna happen? Is is it gonna happen? Is he? Are we actually gonna kill it on accident before he stands up? <laughs> and uh, absolutely, that's exactly what just fucking happened. <laughs> Saz is out here absolutely fucking balling. Upgrade, upgrade. Thank you. Um. So while we're waiting on the other ones to slowly upgrade, I'll probably go ahead and upgrade the um, other things instead of the weapons. The not the power glove, the royal armlets. I'll upgrade those. Because those are definitely worth your time. Because of how fucking good they are, dude. Oh, fuck. Times three. Damn it, I'm blind. Perfect conductor. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, but not right now. Uh, damn it. I don't want to fucking buy anything. I want to save my money, dude. I want to save my money. Um, fine. We'll just start the upgrade of the next royal armlet then. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Smooth hide. It gives me that little bit of assistance. It just makes me hope that something interesting is going to pop up. Um, perfume. No. I like how it says perfume like it's an animal item when I can guarantee you it's not. But all right, game. <laughs> Keep your nonsense. Damn, we are probably 40, 41 and a half hours in, dude. But... <clears throat> I know no one's in chat right now. That's okay, unless you're hiding from me. Uh, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I know it was a shorter stream, and I plan on streaming more. But, oh, that's all we'll be doing for today. We'll probably push further into the uh, area down here more on our next stream. Get closer to our uh, next objective. But we got some good story beats out the way. Walk down a couple of hallways. This game usually takes a long time, because all the fights are really fucking long anyways. But regardless, this has been your boy, Gamer. I'm going to go eat and hop back on, and uh, yeah. Later, losers.